Hampstead School, a comprehensive in North London. St Michael's High School, a comprehensive in Barnsley, South Yorkshire. Two very different schools in two very different locations. What the schools have in common is that today they're taking pupils off timetable and getting them to think about their futures. I don't really know what I want to do. Um, I don't know if I want to stay on or not yet. I haven't really thought about college or anything yet, or university or anything. Both schools are hosting events organised by AIM Higher, the national government programme dedicated to getting more young people into higher education, particularly those whose families have no history of it. You've had a chance to speak to our guests about how they got from being your age through to undergraduate, postgraduate and a career. At Hampstead School, the whole of Year 9 is spending the day learning more about university and preparing for employment. AIM Higher student ambassadors from six London universities are visiting the school to share their experiences. For the Year 10s at St Michael's in Barnsley, there's a performance by a visiting AIM Higher theatre group. Everyone's on to me about going to college next year, just to get to a point where someone says, YOU HAVE A PLACE AT UNIVERSITY! And then what? Three or four more years of learning. And how much is that going to cost me? I can't even afford to go out tonight. I don't know anyone who will go to university and I don't know anyone who's been to university. I want to be a better at the moment. I don't know what that you need to do or out. If your parents have been to university, but really you, you ain't got nobody like who you trust to talk to because you could, anybody could tell you all about it. AIM High is particularly valuable in this school because we have a particularly high percentage of students who have no family history of higher or further education and the aspirations are quite low. It's a very insular town and people don't look to moving outside of Barnsley really at any stage in their life. Um, and AIM High is one way of getting children to consider living in a different environment, meeting different people, obviously continuing with their education, which is important for them economically and socially as well, to get some kind of diversity in the area, really. Oh, miss, I'm not really thinking about university just now. That's quite a long way off. <laughs> I'm the only one going to university. The visiting performers want to get the children thinking about the many options available to them. I haven't really thought about out like that. My best job would be probably a lawyer, but I'm not brainy enough for that. And then my worst job would be probably a toilet cleaner or something. In a few years' time, I'll probably be doing a middle-aged hairdressing uh, job around corn from mine. I'd like to be better, but I'm worried I'm not smart enough. If my parents had a science background, then I think I'd have a better understanding of it. 15-year-old Thomas is in the school's AIM Higher cohort. What are you going to do about York? Are you going to go? I don't really know. As no one in his family has any experience of higher education, he's being encouraged to take part in an AIM Higher scheme that involves staying on a university campus. There's this thing for AIM Higher where they're trying to get summers to go to college for a few days, just to like stay on campus and everything, just to see what it's like. And it'll be an experience for you that a lot of people not get the opportunity to do. I mean, Dad's never done it, I've never done it. I just don't see the point, cos I'm not really that bothered about it, cos I'll come to decide about college when time's right for it. I have no personal um, experience of higher education because I left school when I was 16 and went straight into a factory job, but I want more for Thomas. We want him to study, we want him to have the best chance in life, we want him to go as far and as high as he can go. Aim Higher hopefully is going to show them that higher education isn't school, it's not like school, it's, it's going to be a, an opportunity for a better life. Parental attitudes to higher education are hugely influential, so the local Aim Higher partnership works to involve parents. It was only last week we went to an Aim Higher parents evening, which was to invite uh, parents to support their young people to go to summer schools. So it is important that parents know that there is support and we've had a fantastic turnout for events that schools have organised for parents in Barnsley. Teachers at the school say attitudes to higher education are gradually becoming more positive. Well in the past most of them wouldn't have thought about going on higher education um, 
things are changing, and part of the reason they're changing, I believe, is because of the uh, Aim Higher programme. I think it inspires us to go, because we've seen that his mum and dad haven't really had good jobs, well, not like as good as they could have got if they went to university, so it makes us want to go, really. My mum and dad encouraged me to go to university more because they didn't go, so I think they want me to do better than they did. Back in London at Hampstead School, it's the Year 9 Progression Day. I want you to imagine you're the recruitment department of City Co. At City Co this workshop, called Readiness for Employment, is one of a number of activities aimed at getting pupils thinking about the future. You've got two CVs left and you want to select one more person for interview. So the big challenge of this is encouraging Year 9s that they should be thinking about their future paths and where they're going to try and get on into university. And get the message to them that the next four years will go very quickly. Which of these two people comes out best? That, one, that one's better than that one. Yeah. I mean, at Aim Higher, we do know that university is not for absolutely everybody. But it is about saying to young people, from whatever background you are, it's an option for you, something you can consider. What I'd like now is each team to hold up the CV that they think is the better one. So everyone thinks the white one, yeah? Yeah. OK, now, hands up, please. What are some reasons why you think the white one is best? Yeah. It's more organised, and so it's easier for the people to read when they see your CV. Yeah. Recruitment agencies usually will only look for about 10 seconds. I've done recruiting. The other CV I wouldn't look at for more than five seconds. It'd be in the bin immediately. Now, one really important point about this is it shows, for you as year nine, one of the reasons why it's really important to work hard on your GCSEs, because see how the qualifications stand out. You can't get away from your qualifications. A group of Year 9s from the AIM Higher cohort are sharing their thoughts on the main subject of the day, university. I think it'd be nice to be with, um, in a uni that's near my family and stuff, because yeah. then I can just pop down the road and get my mum to wash my clothes. <laughs> Keep my mum quiet as well. <laughs> well. What about you, Usman? I don't think I'd want to be away from my parents for that long. And would, you ever, would you ever go to uni and then just like go to uni and then come back home? Yeah. yeah <laughs> because it's like this, it's not like you got like five classes a day like yeah. here. I might just stay with my parents for university and just save so much money instead of having a mortgage oh, from the second you turn 18. Because yeah, you don't want to get yeah. in too much debt and getting overexcited by taking all the money from like student loans and things because you still got to pay it back at the end of the day. So unless if you want to do that, then you got to be careful about how you're how much you're getting and how much you're taking, but I reckon that it, it wouldn't be the best idea, for me anyway. Although the cost of higher education may concern 14-year-old Usman, his parents are in no doubt university should be his goal. It is important for my children because I left uh, school when I was 16 and uh, I'm missing out myself a lot <laughs> in my life, so I want them to be educated, you know, so... It's good for them. Oh, how's it going? What are you doing today, then? I mean, I've always regretted uh, not going to university myself. That's why I tend to push Usman a little bit to get his A-levels and then go on to university. I think it's more important now because uh, of the competition that you have. Nowadays, you need to have that education to get a good job and, and uh, stick with it. So you just go from there to there. But things are not quite as straightforward for all members of the AIM Higher cohort. Like, my dad didn't go to university, but he's still got, you know, he's still got a good enough job to keep us, like, happy and stuff. So I suppose as long as you're happy, it's kind of... as long as you have enough money, you're all right. 14-year-old Nadine's father is in two minds about whether university would be right for his musical, artistic daughter. I have mixed feelings, I think. If she wants to do it, then I think it's a good thing. But, you know, getting a degree doesn't seem to sort of open a lot of doors. Having left school at 15 himself, he believes experience counts for a lot. In certain areas, especially things like the media, you know, if you want to do anything artistic, it seems to me much better to get out there and start doing it. If she wants to go to university, we will support her, but at the same time, she's already seeing that it's not the gateway to sort of a lot of things that she might want to do. We're jamming. How old was I when I took this before? I think you were about four years old. 
Without his mother's support, student Femi Akinmode doesn't think he would have made it to university. Now, in his role as AIM Higher Ambassador, he's highlighting the benefits of higher education to Hampstead schools year nines. Do you think universities may lack a more varied choice for your jobs in the future? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. If you go to university, you have a chance of like earning up to 30% more. Young people need someone other than school teachers to tell them about what's on in the world. Having a role model who comes from the same background as them makes a lot of difference to the young people out there. Uh, how much do you pay a week? Well, basically, like, I don't know how much the weekly payment is going to work out to be, but I pay, like, 1200 a session. The young people we work with often have no one that's been on to higher education, no one to ask the questions, what's higher education like? How did you feel when you first moved into university? Now, as soon as I got there, like, people there were really nice. It's nice of them to see someone who's not as old as a teacher, but not the same age as them to talk to as a role model. In your university year, uh, when you first came, did you get lost? Yes, I definitely get lost, and I still get lost up to this day. Back in Barnsley, the Impact Theatre Company is keeping the attention of the Year 10s. Its show, outlining the different educational routes available, is getting a very positive reception. I mean, can you imagine the ribbing I'd get if I was like, oh, yeah, you're right, mate, yeah, I really like learning, oh, yeah, I really like exams. It'd be so humiliating. I thought it were a good way to get across different people's types of learning and what different courses are available for that particular type of learning. I thought the theatre thing were good costs. Um, it got my, like people's attention and everything. But like, if it had just been people out front talking, people would have got like, bored and wouldn't really paid much attention to it. The AIM Hire coordinator attributes much of the success to the fact that outsiders are delivering the message. Sometimes you need to find the balance between how valuable these experiences actually are and how much of it could actually be delivered by teachers in school as part of the normal curriculum. But there have been times when the members of staff have sort of questioned whether it was really worthwhile because what the information that was being given across is nothing that they couldn't have done themselves. But I personally feel that if you let someone else come in and that's seen as a, an outside of school activity for the children, that they're that their mentality going into it is possibly more receptive than if it's just a member of staff talking in a form period. I thought it were play were good or, because it showed you what to do and what they did after and if you didn't get good qualifications you'd have a rubbish job and crap pay. And we had fun but we learned a lot more than we would in those lessons because there weren't any distractions because people were more interested in what they had to say. In London at Hampstead School the pupils are also positive about their day. Some of the questions that people asked were quite like interesting and like, I have a bit of a like idea of what university would be like but I still haven't like decided whether I want to like go to university or not. I think when we met Femi and we could hear from like a first hand point of view of how he felt when he first came and how he's dealing with the financial things and he compared it to his own like what's happening with him right now and how he's coping so I think it helped me realise more like the reality of it. I think it's good that to learn about university in year nine, and even this early, because it makes it easier for you. It prepares you for what you need to expect 